In this video, Melody and I take you to Santee Coastal Reserve in South Carolina. There's free camping here, folks. We share the best camping locations in the USA. Hi guys, we hope you enjoy the video. Check out our RV and camping related gear at our Amazon storefront. Link in video description. Well folks, back there is the paved highway. We just turned on to Gun Club Road. It's a uh, Santee Gun Club Road. There is a information booth right here as you enter the wildlife area. And uh, it was a pretty sharp turn coming in here. Uh, there is another way to come in here and I'll explore that on the way out. But we're going down here to check out a free camping area and uh, so we're going to head down this road. This is uh, one of several entrances, so let's get to it. I'm telling you what, folks, this is a real pretty area. Uh, not too far down the road, we came in uh, across this sign, but uh, it is a well-maintained dirt road. And we're continuing to make our way down to the free camping area. Melody and Milo are with me today. They're back in the truck. Let's continue down the road to this free camping area. Okay, folks, we're approaching the camping area, but we uh, we, we came across this canopy of trees. It's really pretty. Melody wanted to show you uh, what it looks like. So uh, some of these trees are kind of overarching here. We'll see whether I can get my fifth wheel through here or not. That was a pretty sharp turn coming in initially. I suspect there's another way in here. But uh, let's go down and check this camping area out. And then we'll uh, explore different ways to access. In 600 feet, you will arrive at your destination. Okay, I'm seeing some signage for the campground. This is the parking area right here. So Melody and I just arrived at the Santee Coastal Reserve. Uh, there is free camping here right across the street. They just started a controlled burn. I mean, they just started it. So it's, uh, it may get a little fogged up with smoke here. You see all that smoke? Yeah, it's a controlled burn, folks. They got some firefighters over there taking care of some brush, I guess. But this is a real pretty area. Uh, this is a little different. Uh, I'm going to show you some of the signage. I'm going to give you a walking tour of this free camping area. Let's get to it. I just got done walking around the campground. This is a free camping gem in South Carolina, Santee Coastal Reserve. There's some interesting signage behind me. I'm going to walk you through it. Okay, well, this is the signage. Four day maximum stay limit. A first come, first serve. There are empty sites here today. Uh, please do not leave fires unattended. 
campers must wear a hat, coat, or vest uh, during hunting season. Uh, no littering, no drone use, no generator use from sunset to 7 a.m. And uh, this one down here says our campsites are first come first serve, reservations are not needed, and permits are not required. That is good news, folks. We currently have eight designated camping spots. If all the spots are taken, you will have to consider another campground. So, this is the start of the campground. That fire I showed you, man, it's really, they're really going to town on it. You can see the, the flames burning there. There's the firefighters going around in their uh, ATV. They just lit that, they just lit that fire when we uh, got out of the truck. Melody and Milo are walking the campground right now, but here's a here's an empty camping site. This is a beautiful area, folks, and there's not just the campground here. I'll take you back to the sign, or maybe I'll do that online and show you what all was here. Uh, give you an online overview. Here's a, boy, I'd love to have one of those things. Four-wheel drive, Class B. That's one sweet looking rig. And a nice looking campsite too. Okay, so I wanted to come back and catch this for you. They are numbered, this campsite, this is campsite number one, you can see here. And then, um, the Winnebago Class B is in campsite number two, and that is a really nice campsite. And proceeding around the campground loop, there's lots of uh, space in this campground. Campsite three is right in the center of your screen. There's nobody there. This is April 2023 when I'm recording this video. Uh, the, the weather is very pleasant and these campsites are available. Nice looking camping area. And right adjacent to campsite number three is campsite number four, and it is also vacant. All these sites, you can get a, any size rig in, and you can uh, get your rig level. These are fairly flat campsites. Uh, like I said, uh, there was just a sharp turn coming in. The road itself that we came down, I showed you at the beginning of the video, um, was big rig friendly. Um, you do have that canopy of trees, so clearance would be, oh, it's kind of hard to judge with the clearance, but I'm going to explore to see if there's another route in here or whether that's the only route. There's another campsite. Looks like somebody's got their, their chair set up there. It's campsite seven. Campsite seven, I would assume, is right back in there. They're really squirreled back in there. Actually, this is campsite seven right here. And you have, you have a camper. He squirreled way back in there. And they, they, there is a firing and a picnic table back there. So maybe that's campsite six. I don't see the marker though. Campsite 7, and here where the bus is, is Campsite 8. Nice, nice looking campground, folks. And then we swing back out on the road. And here's where you exit the campground. Uh, that's the way we came in. 
Uh, you can see how those trees canopy we drove through there. Uh, I don't know. I'd probably be able to make it with my fifth wheel, but I don't know. Campers must remain in campsite during nighttime hours. And uh, there was an indication that they lock a gate out here at night uh, coming in the entrance that I came in. So I, I don't know if that's what they're referring to when campers must remain in your campsite. I don't know if they're locking you in here or not. Uh, I'll have to explore their website a little bit more to see how that works. Let's uh, continue to explore this free camping area. So I'm walking back to the truck to talk to Melody and Dave comes out. Dave is in uh, that Winnebago, that, that, that sweet four-wheel drive Class B. And he comes out and he says, Lou, Lou? And uh, so yeah, would you believe he was watching one of our YouTube videos when we pulled up? I mean, uh, yeah, this is crazy. So I'm going to ask him about whether they lock you in here or not. And uh, Melody got him a card and a pen. So let's go up here and talk to Dave. That gentleman, he's, uh, he's camping here in his Winnebago. So this is Dave. This gentleman, he comes out and he... He says, Lou? Lou? <laughs> so Dave, I do have a question for you. Yes. Um, I, I noticed the gate out here um, may lock at night, and uh, there's a sign there that says, stay in your camper at night. So do they lock you in here? Yes. They do lock you in here. Yes. There you go, folks. You can still walk around and hike. I mean, you don't want to hike in the, the darkness unless you that's your thing, but um, they, they do lock the gate and you've still got access to the camp and you've still got access this direction, which is due east past the uh, visitor's information to the fishing pond and the other places. So if you wanted to night fish, you could still access the water over there. But you are locked in. Yes. Wow. Yes. Okay, so there you have it, folks. You are locked in here at night. I got a question. The one more thing I want to point out to you is campground is over that way. You have a trail um, that's right to the rear of the campground. Big well trail. So Melody and I did not see a, um, a restroom facility. There's no porta toilet or anything that uh, we found here. So you're going to have to be uh, self-contained as far as the toilet goes and the fire has died down and right now we're going to take it down this road off to the left and it takes you down I don't know if you can make it out through the glass or not but uh, it'll take you down to the south um, you can't make that out it's uh, the South Sanitee River uh, there's we're supposed to have access, at least that, that's what Dave has told us. So we're going to go down to uh, where there's a sign up there that says fishing. I don't know if you can see it or not. Yeah. Um, and that road should take us to the river. So let's go down and take a peek at the river. So if you follow that road out, there is an office in the center of your screen up there, just past the trees. And. Uh, you can access the river down here. So there is a lot to see and do in the area. A lot of wildlife, lots of trails. It is a very pretty area, folks. So this is the paved road that you turn off of um, and there is a separate access. This is, uh, you see where it says wildlife viewing area up there? And then there's a sharp right hand turn onto Santee Gun Club Road. That is the turn 
that I thought was too sharp for my fifth wheel. And as it turns out, uh, there is a second turn off right here where my truck is. I'm standing right in the turnout, and there is a sign here. It says Santee Coastal Reserve, Department of Natural Resources, Santee Gun Club Road. And uh, you just continue around here. So there's actually two accesses for that road. You can take this one if you're heading down the direction that I was, and this will put you right out on the uh, Gun Club Road. And uh, going back the other way, if you're approaching from the other direction, you can take the road that I originally turned down, which is over there by the church. And judging from the, other, the height of those other campers, they all cleared those trees. So I think I could get my fifth wheel in here. You just have to take it slow and kind of like dodge the low spots. But uh, it's a beautiful area. And that's the road I originally came down. But that, that turn right there was it was really sharp even for my truck the fifth wheel would not have made that turn but uh, as luck would have it there's another way to access this road right there where my truck is and then you just proceed down this road that takes it right to the free camping area so folks uh, Melody and I visited with Dave for quite a while we probably spent a half hour with him real nice guy uh, he's got one sweet rig um, his dog's pretty nice too. Uh, uh, if I haven't put a photo up of him and his dog, I'll, I'll do that for you. But uh, I think it's a good place to close the video. So I'll have the upload and download speeds for Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile on our Facebook page along with the grid coordinates for this free camping location in South Carolina. If you like these videos, folks, like and subscribe, and I'll see you down the road. Mm -hmm.